Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Take on the Chicago Cubs. Tyler will be on the moon. Things set up here. All right, all right, all right. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Chicago Cubs taking on the Baltimore Orioles. First pitch coming at you right after the break. I wonder if this is where Gabe was sitting last night. Of course, Gabe is banned from Oriole games ever again. So almost ready to get underway. And today on the hill, Tyler Wells. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Well, what quickly stands out to me for this guy is that he comes in with a three to one strikeout to walk ratio on the season. So when you consider consistency, the ability to get swings and misses and to limit you base runners, that's critical in winning baseball. games today, especially you when go. teams are depending Four, on the big swing, the home run to win ball games. The pitch. Strike one. And a pitch. Ball and there's one. a ball. Kicks and fires. Fouls it off, still one and two. The pitch. That's to third, Westberg. Now a jump throw. On target. Yeah. He got a nice play. Here's a look at the Cubs lineup. One thing these players do very well is stay point? out of the double play. They've hit into the fewest of any team in the league, Chris. Oh, Boog, we don't see situational hitting as that art as much as we used to because hitters are slugging the ball, they're hitting it over the fence. But when you see a team that has the ability to shorten up, hit behind runners, and go first to third or first to home, man, that just adds to the element of what you're able to do in other ways with the bat. So, opposing pitcher better not walk anybody or give them free oh. base runners because these hitters know what to do when runners are on. David Peralta batting with one down. Hmm. Takes a strike. 
One of my favorite stats all time, 1997, the Hall of Famer Craig Biggio played in all 162 games for the Astros on Astro turf, and he never hit into a double play. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. Left hand hitter waits. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Next offering misses down and away. One, two now. And two, that one two. missing low. Ah. Got it. Ooh. Quick start here this evening. Two out. Top of the first. Seiya Suzuki, the next Cub to hit. A lot of clutch hitting from him recently. More than an RBI per game over his last 10. No, First pitch just misses Suzuki. In his third season, hitting third in the lineup, and he was ah. born in Japan. And that's ball two. Two ball, two strike. And that's Old in the dirt. Two out, space is empty. Outside, and that ball is four. ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap One -oh. will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Inside, and that's ball off two. the inside edge. And it's 2-0. Oh. Right oh. through there for a strike. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have oh. to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a One swing strike. and miss. Get into that dugout and hit the reset button. That one fouled off. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. That's towards okay. center. Mullins settles under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. One left for the Cubs. Orioles do up in the first. No score. You're dialed into the show. here with my pal Siggy and our pitcher in this game Jamison Tyon well he's put together a really nice season on the mound ERA in the low threes very respectable when you consider guys are looking to do damage they're not trying to just walk and hit singles they're trying to hit homers and draw walks and score runs Leading so we have a guy that can limit the other team the from scoring man. more than a few yeah. runs that's really tough what? to beat game in and game out Swung on, popped up, left side. Settles underneath it. Hauls it in for the out. One away. All right, let's take a look at the Orioles lineup now. One of the more high-powered lineups in the game right now. It's built to do damage, and they got some guys that can punish the baseball, Chris. It's so fun to watch these guys take their at-bats. I mean, they're so disciplined. Don't give not just at bats away but really pitches ball. away very aggressive competitive in the One zone ball. and no when strike. they connect there's usually some loud noise to it so we'll Don't keep our ears me. open today and the pitch that ball. misses and the count is 2 and 0 oh. good purpose pitch right there trying to tease him get him to raise his sights pop something Hi. up and make it an easy out And he deals. Ball. And that's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't okay. even much to think about. Batting third. One goal one runner first. first. Gunnar yeah. Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles. Yeah. Second in the AL in home runs. 
First oh. pitch doesn't find the zone. One this hitter loves attacking the first pitch, so not giving him something to hit is a good move. Santander, the base runner at first with one out. No, Just that's the missed. ball. Side could be two. Torkelson hey. over to second. Return throw to first. Out. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. Second inning coming up for Baltimore. No score. All right, all right. Second inning Pretty set to go. Play. Here's Cody Bellinger. Fielder, number 24. Cody both the infield and the outfield shifted over to the right. Wells back to work. Ah. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And a foul ball. Cody. The 0-2. Up the middle, Henderson. Now the throw to first on the run. Out. One up, one down. Batting fifth, the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Dansby Swanson stands in. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. One one pitch misses, and that's ball one. Hook, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Right. Hitting wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. One down, base is empty. Ball. The shortstop takes the ball. 2-2. Two, two. In the air, right field. And that should be extra bases. And into second with one away. That's a double. And I have to I well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Better in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Now it's going to be Christopher Morell. Man at second. Turned on, but foul wide of third. No score here in the second. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. On to O'Hearn. Oh. Two down. Got it. The first baseman. Spencer. And now the first baseman, Torkelson. Spencer Torkelson. He really needs go back to and look and see how they got Torkelson. Striking out nearly twice in each of the last five games. That this is the zone. One and oh. That one missed. Runner at second, two down. Here at the top of the second. Next Ooh. offering is in for a strike. Really nice spot there on that 2 0 to get back in the count. The hitter's hoping to turn on something, but tough pitch like that, he's just going to take it. And that one in the air, center field. Mullins makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Cubs leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Do get on that. Do get a hit, but nothing comes of it. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. Off. Now oh, it's yeah. the DH. But Ryan Mountcastle. Ryan Mountcastle. As he turns on the rubber, and with that 
Good live arm delivers. Uh -huh. Right through there for a strike. No ball. One strike. In there at the knees. And the I count is 0-2. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, boo. Joey Mack. Sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. And it skips into there. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. And there's one down. That Just pulled off of it a little the bit right there. Thing. That front shoulder oh, coming yeah. open instead of staying closed. Oh, if he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Ryan no, in the box with one away as he takes ball one. One out, base is empty. Ball, Next one misses. Down. Two balls, no strikes. And that's in for a strike. Right side, hard hit. Whips it to first. He's out. And there are two down. James McCann in now. A guy who's turned himself into a good framer. He was originally drafted by the Tigers. Second round pick in 11. To third. This looks like extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Around first and hustling for second. Not in time. It's a double. Well, a swing like that can help you go. come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Now, Colton Kowser. Definitely scuffling at the dish lately. Just one hit in his last five games. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Wisdom calls it in to end the inning. One left for the Orioles. We'll move to the third with no score. On to the third inning. Now the Cubs catcher, Jan Gomes. No. Just missed. Pitch is in there. And the count one, one and ball. one. One strike. And that one is lifted in the air. Mullins on his horse. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's one down. So the lineup flips now, over. Right. Here's Nico Horner. Right. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first hit back. And that's off the inside edge. And it's 1-0. And downstairs. Two balls. No strike. And a pitch. That one spoiled. And the count now 2-1. and one. Top of the third. No score. Pitch misses. 3-1. 3-1. Right through there for a strike. And oh, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. In the air, right field. Santander racing after him. Stanks it on the run. And there are two outs. The foul. That was good. Nothing needed hitting. David Peralta at the play. His first at bat was a strikeout. That one in there across the letters. Oh one. one. Come on, Tyler. Fly ball down the line. Kowser sizing this one up. And that is that. Home half of the third coming up. No score.
bottom of the inning. Leading and off. into the box for Baltimore, Orioles. Jackson Holiday. The second baseman, Jackson Holiday. And the pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. That one misses one. the zone. And one and one. Wouldn't Ball chase two. that time. A wide to kick the pitch. Ah. And a swing and a miss. Two ball, two strike. That one yeah. not close. And it's three and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. So let's pick them up. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Always having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Got him swinging. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. He found a way to just get it by him. Cedric Mullen. No ball. Now the box right. comes up empty with a swing there. And a foul ball. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering upstairs. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. Look at him working hard out there. And that's two. in the dirt. Two and two. One down, base is empty. Oh, Got it three. looking. That's a strikeout. I don't know about you, Chris, but that felt like a weird now bat right it. there. They didn't give much to hit until the Go final ahead. pitch, and he still got the backwards K. Yeah, not a single pitch was actually inside the strike zone, but he was being very aggressive in the box and fell behind in the count. Then they finally do challenge him, and he couldn't get the bat off his shoulder. Kind of a strange strikeout for sure, Blue. One that one. misses the zone, and the count is one and one. Whoa. And another ball. Back-to-back -back breaking Here's pitches one. away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, and he doesn't want to challenge you. So oh. I think the confidence level Three is ball. raised right here. Right. Anthony Santander, next to bat for Baltimore. That's the third. Morrell. On to first. Out. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Orioles held in check there. Still no score. Out of the fourth. So up now for Chicago. Seiya Suzuki. Well, here's a fun fact for you, Boog. Suzuki is the first Japanese-born player to homer in three right. consecutive plate appearances in the majors. Feel free to use that note in your next Cubs broadcast, buddy. Next One more. offering down low and in the dirt. Wouldn't chase that time. The 2 on. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Well, he just that fastball by and elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Kicks and deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had right, there we go. And Here's next that. will be the cleanup hitter, Patrick Wisdom. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Swing and a foul straight back. Wisdom measures 6 feet 2 inches, 220 pounds. Usually a third baseman today starting in left.
Ball Next one. pitch misses. Ball one. One ball. Two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what. Pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Cody. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. He's over one. Infielder shifted to the right. Shortstop just to the left of second. And no. the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball. No strike. And it's fouled away. My... Okay, there we go. And the righty deals. Foul ball still, one and two count. All tied up here in game one of this three game set. side tosses to first and the Cubs go one two three Cubs are down quietly and we're still knotted at zero and we're back John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you and leading off the bottom of the fourth Anthony Santander rolled softly but that goes foul the dirt and it's a ball to strike oh what a stop from his backside and they get the out what a play to his left fully extended there in front of the shortstop to make the grab up with it then a strong accurate throw across the diamond to complete this highlight play Here is Gunnar Henderson. Hard ground ball pace now. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Ready to hit At the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield. So I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Fly to left his first time. Right through there for a strike. Man at first, one away. Ball. In the dirt. One ball, one strike. And an excellent job keeping it right there. On the ground to third, sneaks through, base hit. Lead runner around second. Throw into third, he's hey. in there. Back-to-back -back singles, just found a way to slot that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in go. different spots. That was just Come on. nice. Got to get this running. <laughs> One away, runners at first and third. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit. He's 0 for 1. 
Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Righty delivers. And fouled off. Henderson, the runner at third. Mountcastle at first. One gone. In the air, center field. Bellinger pulls it in on the run. Throw is on the and he scores. On the board first, it's one zip. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner right third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. McCann, the next to hit, takes ball one. One run across in the frame so far. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Hook Swing one. and a miss. 1-1. One, one. Two outs. And two now ball. one and two. One, two. <laughs> and here it comes. Ball. And another ball. ball that one inside. And the count's full. Great the eye spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. In the air out to center. Makes the grab on the run. And that'll do it. A run on two hits, and they leave one. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Orioles <laughs> one, and the Cubs nothing. Okay. Get the good fundamental baseball Back thing. Got the sack fly. We go to the top of the fifth. The so up now for Chicago, Dansby, Dansby Swanson. Swanson, former first-round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks. Vanderbilt player in college, college World Series player, no, all that good stuff, ball. but really coming into his own. Oh, no. Righty to the plate. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Fought off foul. Here comes a pitch. Two, that two. one missing low. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. And next for the Cubs, Christopher Morell. That's in there. Strike one. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. That misses the zone. Going to count one and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Chop to third. Over to first. Out. And that quickly, two away. Now batting. The first baseman. So and digging two. in, Spencer Torkelson. Torkelson. Oh, that one's in there, and it's 0-1. One, one. And a foul ball. Looking sharp, just a strike away from five shutout innings. Her ball. Field two. One, two. Two, two. Chase that time. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. And it remains 1-0. Back now at Oriole Park. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And into the box for Baltimore, Colton Kowser.
Mataya back to work. Not Whoa. even close there. And that is ball one. That one ripped. And it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balance. Beautiful swing. A fraction of an inch different on the back, and he is probably out of here. Here's the second baseman, Jackson Holliday. Went down on strikes his first time through. Ripped on the ground a second. Corner over to first. That's an out. And that's the first okay, out in the bottom of the fifth. That's a good piece of hitting right now there. Guys, it's early, really but you still want to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score. That's exactly what happened, so you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Let's go. Or real. Towards first. On the run, sends it over to first. Run scores, and that makes it 2 nothing as they get the out. Well, there it is, a little old-school manufacturing of a run after that double. Ground out to get him over, and another ground out to get him in. Nice job to get that RBI. Westberg, no. up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. He swings and fouls one off. Two down, nobody on. Two and that one. one upstairs. Oh. Off the mark there. And now three balls three one. and a strike. Anthony Santander waiting on deck for the Orioles. Hammers that one deep left field and Westbrook wave it bye bye. They'll circle the bases and they tack one on the board. It's three nothing. That's a swing that'll boost the win probability for sure. Sure, there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. He was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely. And he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Anthony Santander at the plate. Swing it a foul straight back. Two runs across in the inning. Last half of inning number five. Woo. That pitch gets the inside corner, and it's nothing oh, at two. The Cubs bullpen with some action. Drew Smiley up and throwing for manager Craig Council. Almonte getting cranked up as well. One Inside almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Swing and a miss. Gomes to first. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. So they get two runs on two hits. One of them left the yard. Five innings complete. It's the Orioles three and the Cubs nothing. Let's go, let's go, come on. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Mike Bauman. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. Mike Gomes leading things off and takes a strike. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. A wind of the pitch. And One, that's two. in the dirt. Fights that one away, still one and two. Oh. 
In the air, left field. Kowser under it. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one away. Now it's the second baseman, Nico Horner. That one almost got him. One ball, no strike. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. One down, base is empty. Two and one. another ball. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Makes a nice running catch. And there's two away. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those could be a little tricky, especially if the wind swirling around out there. Two outs, base is empty. And now David Peralta. Pitch misses there. Ball one. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Squeezes it. And that is that. So they go quietly there. Part of the order. 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Orioles 3 and the Cubs nothing. There we go. Come on. Back now for the bottom of the sixth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Drew Smiley. Please consider liking the video. Subscribe to the channel. Not and now the shortstop. Only 59 subs away from 1,000. The pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit to right. So a runner aboard to start the inning. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Next to hit, Ryan Mountcastle. Ground ball could be two. There's one, and that's two. Well, he made his pitch down in the zone. He got that ball on the ground. The double play he was looking for. Really good execution. Ryan O'Hearn, the next to hit. On the ground right side. The throw to first. Out. And talk about efficient. Three outs on three pitches and the inning is done. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Seventh inning coming up. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the top of the seventh. And here is Seiya Suzuki. Not one close with that one. 1-0. Oh. Bauman in his third season. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. There's a swing and a drive. Oops. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Mullins whips it back in, and they hold him at second. Maybe this is going to be the moment they start the comeback. So here's the cleanup hitter, Patrick Wisdom. Ah. Right through there for a strike. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. And that one fouled off. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Oh, and it comes okay. in too late. He's up to third on the flyout with one away. Bellinger up to hit. I'm curious how he decides to attack on the mound. Now on the bump, CNL Perez. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high. Ball and just breaks a ton. First pitch misses. The Cubs trailing by three. Here are the top Four. half of inning number seven. One ball, one strike. Four. A big three. swing and a miss. All sliders one so ball. far in this attack to get ahead in the count. And it clearly shows there's a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Left hand batter waits. And the one two misses to even the count. Henderson. 
Rolls across the That's diamond. Enough. Now two away as they get a run across. Now it's the yeah, shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Dansby Swanson. And first offering is fouled off. Good Go. eye right there. 1-1. One, one. And a base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Do not blow this game. Now and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to what stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. With the tying run at the plate, you're in game one of this three-game set. There's a high chopper. Tosses he's the first, out. and that will end the inning. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and the man left. Midway. And we're back. Here's the catcher, James McCann. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face oh. batting from the left side. Same One side ball. he throws no from. Strike. Movement in the Cubs bullpen. Carl Edwards Jr. up and throwing for manager Craig Council. The lefty fires. McCann fouls one off. And now the lefty. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. Now the left fielder. Colton Kowser. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. So a man aboard now with one away. Found no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone. He was clearly ready to jump all over it. Here's the second baseman, Jackson Holiday. Bounce to the right side, and it finds its way through for a hole. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Now he kind of rolled over on fielder. this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and we'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. And yeah, the batter now, Cedric Mullins, slides for the stop. Over to Swanson. He turns it to first, yep, not in time. Great effort there. Well, that's great hustle out of the box to get down the line, knowing that a double play will end the inning. Good job at the finish, reaching out for the back. Now they have runners on the corners and still an opportunity to pick up some runs. So the batting order turns over. Here's the third baseman, Jordan Wesper. Foul ball there. Runners on first and third, two away. Here at the bottom of the seventh. That oh. one misses, and it's one and one. Looking for some insurance, or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Two. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. two. High fly ball, right field. Suzuki has a beat on it, nabs it. And the inning is over. Orioles strand a couple as the lead remains 3-1. <laughs> Back now at Oriole Park for the top of the eighth. And here's the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. Coming on for the Orioles, Yenier Cano. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. The 1-0. Oh, chase that time. Next Drive. offering is in for a strike. Bounce to third. 
On to O'Hearn. And they get Torkelson for the out. Now batting. The catcher. Jan. Now it's Jan Gomes. Jan. Cano. Oh. A former All-Star. Oh, he features a sinker, a changeup, a slider. And he works in a four-seamer. Smoked on the ground a second. On to O'Hearn. And Gomes is retired. Nico Horner getting ready to hit. Oh. And that's off the inside edge and that's ball one and that's down it away the Orioles leading by two and we're at the top of the eighth ball now three, three and oh Rio. that clips the inside corner for a strike the three one Back to the oh mound. come on! You know you he gotta feel that. Right back up the middle. That's what he does. Great contact, and that keeps the inning alive. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Ah. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Tying run at the plate. Ball this one. is inside, and now it's even one and one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Goes down looking. One left for the Cubs. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. Back now, new picture on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Yancy Almonte. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. Torkelson takes Ow. it himself. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Gunnar no Henderson no now at the plate. No really nice job to get your no first out of the ball game. Henderson. Out to center. Bellinger sizing it up. And there's two away. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball no right matter. there. Number Lucky six. it stayed in the ballpark. Designated hitter, Ryan. Mount Castle. Oh, Castle in the box now. No balls and a strike. Some hitters are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Nope. Kicks and fires. One, two. That one the other way, and it stays fair. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the Left field. The one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Coming home. Relay throw home. He's safe. There we go. Big insurance run. Big insurance run. <laughs> Oh, and it just. I don't know. I think I may have got a Here little piece of chalk. I think I got a break One there. For three. In the air, right side. Suzuki has a beat on it. Makes the catch. And that is that. The O's add one on an RBI double. Last chance coming up for the Cubbies. Here comes Craig Kimber. <laughs> We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Craig Kimber. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. 
Foul ball. Here comes the 1. And that one fouled off. Not even close there. And it's one and two. And it skips in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The pitch. And that's in the dirt. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball no. four. Wisdom stands in now, looks at that one inside. Out front and foul to the left side. Well, the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. The Orioles leading by three here at the top of the ninth. Fouls it off, still one and two. All season two, two. long, he's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. Come on, watch. Here's a 2 2. Mm. This one yeah. kicks away from McCann. And now a man into scoring position. Just about gives his skip for a heart attack, but that's where he functions best. Oh my god. And there's a hit around third. Now a long throw home. It's offline. Oh, the run comes in, and it's now a two run game. Cody Bellinger will hit next. 0 for 3 with three ground outs. That clips the zone. It's 0 and 1. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double two. play right here. Next offering way upstairs. And a swing and a miss. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Rocketed out towards right center, and a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position, and just one out. A move being made at third, and on a run for the Cubs. Pete Crow Armstrong. And the batter now, Christopher Morell. And there's a strike. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come forward. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Brings it in. Runner tagging from third. A big run scores on the set fly. And now they trail by one. So it's their last chance in this one. Spencer Torkelson digs in now. And that one fouled off. A one-run lead here in game one of this three-game set. One one. Next pitch is outside. They're down to their final strike. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. He caught it behind his back. Yes. The throw, and that's the ball game. What a play to finish it. Well, this turned out to be an exciting, very well-played game. Always feels great when you can take the lead in the eighth at home. Come on the ninth. Crowd will be behind that pitcher as he tries to get those final three outs. Everybody goes home happy with a win like this. 4-3, our final score. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long. <coughs> our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Orioles. Four runs on ten hits. No errors. They left six runners on base. For the Cubs, 
Three runs, six hits, no errors. They left five runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours exactly. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Chicago Cubs taking on the Baltimore Orioles. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And singing the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Gunnar Henderson leads the team at OPS. So he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks. He'll barrel up the baseball. He'll hit the ball in the gap. So he'll hit the ball over the Leading fence. So the talk cup. about a guy going good. That's him baseball. right now. And Nico. he's a bat that you want to stay away Warner. from if you're the pitcher. And a guy like this is going to keep you in the ball game. Yeah. He's going to go out there, compete. No Not going to see a whole One lot strike. of flair and flash. But he's going to hand it over to the bullpen at some point. And if you've been able to score a few runs, you'll be in it late. So we'll see if he's able to do that for his club in this one. And a foul ball. The pitch. Rips that one center field. Mullins flashes the leather on the running catch. Time now for the Chicago Cubs lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the, the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent, and you always Good. seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. In the air, left side. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there's two down. There we go. That is third. The right fielder. Say, uh, Say a Suzuki, Suzuki, the next Cub to hit. Here's a hitter who's been strong in the clutch lately. Over the last 10 games, he's knocked in 10 runs. And there's the strike means 30 years old now and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Kansas. That one, one misses. And one. one and one. Two out spaces empty. Bounce to the left side. Loves it on the dive. And that's a nice play to end the inning. Well, that right there was all great defense. positioning. Put himself in the perfect spot to make a great play. Here in Baltimore, and today's starter, Jordan Wicks. And Singy is unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that Leading can off. keep a good tempo oh, oh, oh. and don't give hitters time to adjust hitter. or think. They can get through a ball game, and you look up. They're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Jordan Westberg stands in now and watches strike one. Here's 
Here's the 0-2. On the ground to short. Oh, great stop from his backside. And he gets him. Nicely done. A quick move to that his left. Good. Fully extended oh, there in front of the shortstop oh, to yeah. make the grab. Up with it. Then a strong, accurate throw across the diamond to complete this highlight play. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. He's been tearing it up at the plate recently. Can make it a five-game hitting streak with a knock in this one. Out to short. Swanson yep. fires over to first. And two quick that outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Time now to take a look at the Orioles lineup put together by manager Brandon Hyde. Needless to say, this is an aggressive lineup. They've drawn fewer walks than any other team in the league. Boom. I didn't walk very much, but I'll tell you what. It drives me a little crazy to see it. I mean... We're in this modern era of baseball, and we know how important walks are. You get runners on base, they end up leading the runs. But this whole lineup just seems to be made up of players who come to the dish. They don't have a plan. They come on board right away. You've got to make that pitcher work a little bit more. It's not like you're going to get a steady diet of meatballs all game long. That's the ball. Hacktastic might be the way to describe it. Swing and a ground ball off the door. That's a base hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. There you go. Come on. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too Don't much with the pitch. Just shoot Long it gunner, gunner. the field. And now let's see if they throw some action with good wheels on the bases. Anthony Santander at the plate. And a foul ball. That's ball in the location. I want it. You can give it. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first here in the second game of the series. Next pitch no, is outside. That's the ball. One and one. Swing and a foul straight back. Go, let's go. Come on. Two outs. Max and misses. It's a strikeout. And the Orioles leave one. Scoreless after one. <laughs> and welcome back to the ballpark. Now the third baseman, Patrick Wisdom. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Means back to work. Just Ball, missed. Down. On the right. outside corner, and the count even at one. One Our one. Umpire for this one, Freddie Ferguson. A consistent umpire by all accounts. That's yeah, I think down. the book on him is that he's not necessarily by the book with his strike zone. But once you figure out where he's calling strikes, you pretty much count on him to stay with that throughout the game. And a pitch. Got him. Swing for a strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time... A little anxious. Here's Cody Bellinger. This one popped up. Drifts towards it. Two up, two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Dansby Swanson uh -huh. oh. in the box now as he leaves that one up high. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it oh. takes. The shortstop takes the ball. One. And there's oh. the ball. And there's the ball, ball four. Take your bait. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. Two outs. And a good nope, eye ball. there. One ball, one strike. Run around the move. Pitch in for two. a strike. McCann fires. One, Save. 
Stolen base. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Good. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. No runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. James McCann in now. Chop back up the middle. Fires to first on the run. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. I'll take it. That's a pretty explosive shortstop to make pretty much every time. Pretty routine. Hard to tell if he didn't get a great grip on it or the mechanics on him just broke down, but that gives this offense an extra out to work with. Colton Kowser, the next to hit for the Orioles. On the ground right side. Four, six, three. And they turn the double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. So next to hit for Baltimore, Ramon Urias. That's that off the mark, the and it's 1-0. Oh. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Pitch Ball. misses, 2-0. and oh. That one fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. We'll move to the third with no score. All set for the start of the inning. And now the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. Torkelson. And he deals. This ball's chopped on the ground. Sends it to first. Oh. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Batting done. The catcher, Jan Gomes. Here's Jan Gomes. Hard to believe this guy ever won a silver slugger. Into center. Two down. Here's Nico Horner. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Yeah, his Hit swing right. is so good, it's in the zone a lot of time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. And they'll do it again. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about Ball. it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. That one oh. ran inside, almost got him. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of... Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. Here's Nick Madrigal. First no, off, bringing the just ball. misses. One of the things that Jim Leland used... Corner on the go. That's in for a strike. Oh, Bro, right. save. That's a stolen base. Yeah, I like being aggressive right there with two outs. It's kind of a classic steal situation. You get thrown out, no big deal. That guy at the plate leads off the next inning. Now, a single to the outfield can push a run across. Kicks and deals. Fights it off, he'll see another. And it's even up. Runner on the go again. Pitch is low. McCann fires. Safe. Stolen base. 
I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. And that is that. Cubs lead one, and we are still scoreless. <laughs> Set for the bottom Meeting of the third, off. and into the box Orioles. for Baltimore, Cedric Mullins. Cedric Muller. And the pitch. Yeah, and I figured you would get Katze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Next one pitch misses one. way outside. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting one out of the zone. Now. And here it comes. And this is inside. Two balls, two strikes. That one not close. Now. And now three and two. But why to kick the pitch? Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So a man on base to start smart. the inning. He's been swinging it really that well lately. Right. Anytime you rip a line base. drive the other way, you feel really good about hey, what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Jorge Mateo now. And That's ball, ball one. At the belt and fires. Here goes that the missed. runner. That's the ball. Save oh, at second, hey. and that was not close. for a hit he pops it up and there's one down well, I wasn't trying to butt there but not yeah. able to execute yeah, I think he rushed it a little bit and when guys rush it can be a pop up or can be bunted right back at a position player Westbrook I wasn't trying to bunt the hit I was trying to miss And it's second. That right, one's in one. there. And it's two and one now. Two balls, one strike. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, and makes the grab. Out number two. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Bounced up the middle. Corner. Jump throw. In the dirt. Can't quite pick it. And that would have been a beautiful play. Now batting. So two down. Gunnar Henderson. The next to hit for the Orioles. And he's already singled in this game. Sharp grounder. That's two for a base hit. And they'll score first. It's Winston. The tag at third. And he's out. Long throw for the third out. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Three innings complete. It's the Orioles one and the Cubs nothing. And we're back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth. Seiya Suzuki. And the pitch. Misses no, that's outside. outside. Ball. Ball one. Suzuki goes five feet, 11 inches, 29 years old, and he's been touching home plate quite Ball. a bit lately, scoring eight runs over the last 10 games. A wind of the pitch. That one down the line, and that's Ball. just foul. In the dirt, two, two. two balls, two strikes. 
swing and a ball popped up. He's got it. One down. And up next for Chicago, Patrick Wisdom. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Not one close one. with that one. Here, that's ball one. And a strike on the outside edge. A one-two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Next two one two. in the dirt. And another ball. And he walked Take it. Your bait. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. Yeah. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed no hitter. One. Bellinger's won a variety of awards in his career. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Into the bleachers and gone. Cody Bellinger blasts one out. His 12th of the season, it's 2-1. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. Dansby yeah. Swanson stands in. Here's your one. Hey, and that right. gets the inside corner for a strike. That one That's a little bit high. Now one and two. Still only one out here in the inning. Got him looking. Now two away. That was just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite right. arm angle so I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands got the back going too soon and strike two. Going two two outs good job to fight that one off the pitch fouls that off to the left and we'll do it again the 0-2 and One that's ball, skips in the dirt two down nobody on here in the second game of the series in the air foul off first Mountcastle drifts towards it and that is that but two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two run homer and this is now a 2-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Ready to go, bottom four. Stepping in, Anthony Santander. Swings and misses. Slider oh right there. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And there's a the ball. ball. Swings through that one for strike two. He got away one with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Shoots a line drive single into right center and aboard on the leadoff single. Couldn't have timed it up any oh, better than that. Good. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Let the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it. Oh, one. Runner at first with no outs here. Close, oh. but called a ball. And yeah, the count even one and one. Right through there for a strike. The pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Calls it in, and there's one away. 
Colton Kowser, the next to hit. 0 for 1 so far. Swings through that one. The pitch started oh, in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter oh, to track. Off the plate inside. And it's a ball to strike. Ground could be two. Fires to second for one. Over to first. Oh, safe. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, oh, make the pitch, warrior. get the ground ball. The Excellent piece man. of work. Ramon. Here's the third baseman, Ramon Rios. And that drops in for a strike. No ball. One strike. And right. that's a strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make nope. contact. Ball. That misses, and the count is one and two. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, two, two. but he looked a little shocked for a second there. Kowser, the runner at first with two gone. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Ramon gives the Orioles the lead. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they jump out front. It's 3 2. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. Pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this. At bat was very patient, and it paid off. We <laughs> saw two away with nobody on. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. Down the right field line, that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Oh, nice line Number drive three. to the pull side Second right there, base, but he didn't spin oh, off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And next for the Orioles, Jorge Mateo. He's wins. in there. Checks hey. over to first, and he's back. Oh. And that's in for a strike. In the air to left down the line. And that will drop foul. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. In time, the 2-3 strikeout ends the inning. Baltimore with a two-run shot this inning. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Back now at Oriole Park. And here's the first baseman, the first base. Spencer Torkelson. Means back to work. Ball no, one, no out. strikes. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have no, a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. <laughs> Next offering is in for a strike. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Now it's Jan Gomes. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Ah. Fastball in for a strike. The 1 1. And ball one, one. one. One down, base is empty. In the air, out towards left center. Mullins makes the grab, and there's two gone. The batter number two. Second base. Back to the top Nico. of the lineup. Now it's the second Horner. baseman, Nico Horner. That one to first, and it goes just foul. Two down, nobody on. 
In the air, left field. Kowser brings it in with a nice running grab. Go, go, Colton Kowser. Back here in Baltimore, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And stepping in is the speedy Jordan Westberg. And there's a foul ball. Off the mark there. And one and one. Right through there for a strike. Here comes a pitch. That one That's off the, the mark. And it's two and two. The punch out there. And there's one away. The the so next to hit for Baltimore, Ryan Mountcastle. Mountcastle. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And now the one. Foul tip straight back. And that squared him up in the mask. That didn't feel good. Now a screamer into the outfield. That's a double. In one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Safely into second. He's got a double. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Now at the plate, Gunnar Henderson. Oh, look at the stop. On the money, nice play. Well, you can see right there, he looks very comfortable going to the backhand. Nice wow. diving stop, gets up to complete the He play. doesn't feel that mount that for sure, does he? And now, Anthony Santander. Santander. And that's no, a little bit high. Ball one. Activity in the well. bullpen. Carl Edwards Jr. Up and throwing for manager Craig Council. Smiley, the lefty, warming up as well. The pitch. Base hit and a run into score. There we go. Get that insurance run. Comes through with the RBI. Nice line drive to the full side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Here is James McCann. Edge of the zone for a strike. And it's 0-1. Pulls that one foul. Next that's offering ball, is downstairs. Down. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Morrell moving under it. He's got it. And that is the third out of the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 4-2. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top six. Now the number two hitter, Nick Madrigal. First Ball, pitch just misses. And that one hammered. Santander racing after it. Will get to this one in the alley. And that's a leadoff double. He was all over that one. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just ball barreled outside. it up, went the other way for the knock. Suzuki in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Ball. That one missed. Ah. It's outside. With the tying run at the plate, and we're the top half of the six. Set ball and a four pitch Take walk. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. So they turn things over to the righty, Jacob Webb. Coming on to face the righty here, and he's been fantastic oh. against him this year. His numbers One in those matchups are very good.
Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Next no, offering down. is down low. Oh. Way to lay off that pitch down. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think Mateo. Off balance feed. There's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. So up now for Chicago. Dansby Swanson. A strikeout and a walk. There's a strike. 95 of that one. Next pitch oh. is outside. My web. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Pitch misses there, and it's two and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Downstairs and outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And they're all oh, loaded oh, up. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Here's the left fielder, Christopher Morell. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches oh, and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. This one lifted yes. in the air, left field. Kowser in position, brings it in. And that's the third out. They leave them loaded. Six, seven, eight, two at the bottom of the sixth. It's the Orioles four and the Cubs two. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Drew Smiley. He's averaging more Leading than one hit allowed for any Orioles. pitch this season. No and that's field. not where you want to be at all. Okay. So we'll see how he does here. Go, go, Kowser. Right side, hard hit. Throw on to Torkelson. One away, bottom of the sixth. <laughs> No time there. Nice no job time. driving that pitch the other way right on a run. Right. You know, hitters, it takes so many reps oh, in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game. That's but the right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Mullins in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Ground ball left side could be two. One at second, and that's two. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We're through six full. It's the Orioles four and the Cubs two. Huh. And we're back. And now the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. Well, a 6-2 righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, and occasionally mixes in the slur. Ball one oh. there. Ah, that hit him. You, and the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Jan Gomes, the next cup to hit. So, Boog, if you had to take one for the team, where would you want to get hit? Chris, I think I'd have to say upper hamstring. Pitching change here, Dylan T. That's These the are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much That's margin what? for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. So now one and two. With two strikes, two. may see now. some movement over there at first base, trying to stand up. Slider got him for strike three. Well, one of the things that hitters will do is they'll look for that red dot on the baseball as he's coming in to let him know 
what the pitch Keep is. Going. And if they see the red dot, it's typically a slider. But when a guy's got a really tight one with high spin rates, very yeah. difficult to determine. And that's probably why we saw a swing and miss right there. Just a nasty pitch. On the ground. And it's through for a hit. They fired it quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come yeah. through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And the slider oh. just misses. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Yeah. Oh. Swing and a high fly ball left field. He's under it. Drops into the glove. Seiya Suzuki, the next cup to hit. First That's pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strike. Yeah, there's a ball. The Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next ball. pitch. And downstairs, Patrick Wisdom to bat next. Hey. And that clips the inside corner. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Oh, yeah. Make the team earn their way off. Oh, one. The, in the box now. Take strike one. This to third. Out to escape a bases-loaded jam unscathed. Cubs wind up leaving the bases loaded. Still down by... We're back in a new picture here to start the bottom of the seventh. Carl Edwards Jr. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. He's actually better again. One attempt popped up. Not in time. That's a bunt single. It doesn't surprise anyone when he gets on base by dropping down a ball. I mean, this is just the latest example of him using his speed to his advantage and showing off his skills with the bat. That was very nice. You know, these Orioles doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. They're up to double-digit hits as a team, and if it seems ah. like they haven't been barreling up the ball, you're right. Okay. Half of their hits haven't even been considered hard hits. Mateo runs. Out there to center. Bellinger drifts towards it. Hooks it away for the out. And you know, bloops and lasers, they both count the, the same. Base, so we know six. there's zero complaints oh, about yeah. double digits in the hit column, no matter how it happens. Swing it a foul straight back. One ball, one strike. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Next offering is in for a strike. One, two.
would Full chase count. that time. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming off if he's wrong. Outside and that is ball four. And the batter will no be batter. the shortstop, no Gunnar Henderson. Good we just Good might be talking about this at bat in our postgame yeah. wrap. He's yeah. proven he can drive in runs in these spots. Runner on the goal. Hit hard, base hit. Around third. The throw in. It's off the mark, and he scores. And they're up by three. Well done. Drives in the run. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out there. go. Line drive knock. Anthony Santander getting ready to hit. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. This one rip, but foul to the right. Now oh. one and one. One and one. That one packed up the middle and it gets through. In the score is the runner from third. It's six two. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big ball. New arm out of the bullpen. Number 48. Going to be a tough matchup for him right here. Right-handed hitters have been having a lot of success against him so far this season. James McCann, the next to hit for the Orioles. And a ground ball to first. Torkelson, quickly to second for one. Back to first, double play. Nice job getting over, and that ends the inning. They get two runs on three hits. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Danny Coulomb. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the oh. ball. Quips it to Mountcastle. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Now batting. And next Good for the Cubs, Dansby Dan Swanson. Swanson. That one left it to left. And a couple of quick outs. The left fielder. So up five. next, Christopher, Christopher Morell. Morell. Yeah. And that's in there at the knees. How are you, Eric? And that's nope. off oh. the inside edge. And the count one. is one and one. Come on. And it's strike two. One and two is the count. Then you come in there. Three down for the Cubs. They still trail it here. It's six to two. Back now at Oriole Park. Leading off, Colton Kowser. Go, let's go, come on. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Now Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. Yeah. Even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And first offering is fouled off. Light drive. Takes it in for the out. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. And 
first offering is fouled off. I'm so glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect go, the fans, go, keep things safer. All around How are you, Eric? Comes yeah. up empty. That's strike two. Man, that was two. pretty gross right there. And down on strikes he goes. Two gone. Jorge Mateo, the next to hit for the Orioles. One for three. And a foul ball. is even. Out towards right center field. Bellinger makes the grab. And that is that. Back here in Baltimore, we go to the ninth. And here's the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, Yen Yir Cano. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. That misses oh. the zone. Going to count one and two. Stays alive. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Well, the last ten games now or so have been anything but fun at the plate no. for him, so that one has yeah. to feel good. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch oh. the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Rips it to Mountcastle. Now one gone in the ninth. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs two. lineup. Second Here's the season. second baseman, Nico Horner. Line to left, and there's a hit. Coming home. The relay to the plate. Safe. He made it safe. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI, though. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield the for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. In the dirt, blocked. Runner holds. Count goes to two and one. That one hit to right. He makes the grab. Now it's the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. And the first pitch misses for the ball. One out. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. 1-1. One, one. There's a strike. Pitch two misses. Now 2-2. Two and, two. and a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. 
don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. 6-3 our final score as the Orioles win this one for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chum. Thanks for joining us. Ramon Urias. I'll be back tomorrow to play more in a little bit. I'm going to be coming to eat. Please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel. Almost 2,000 subscribers. See you a little bit later today.